Hey, Tampa Bay, welcome to the Business Happy Hour, your number one show for all things business and entrepreneurial. I am your host, Frank Cotto, the owner of Lincoln Lending Group and 813mortgage.com, your no-fee mortgage a leader going on 20 years here in Tampa Bay, in studio with my quiet, reserved, not exciting co-host at all, Jason J. Mac McIntosh. Yeah, welcome back. Well, so unlike you. We missed you. <laughs> yes, I missed you too. Good to be back with you. I, we missed all of our listeners for an entire week. Yes, we did. We're back. What are you guys Guess listening who's back? to? Guess, Guess who's, who's back? back? Guess who's back? Um, uh, is Beyonce? Beyonce's back. Yeah, yes. well, totally. I was trying to think of the song. We're so good at picking these songs out. By the way, guys, you're going to have to start checking out the Business Happy Hour. We're going to be on YouTube. 2.0. 2. That's right, 2.0, not 1.0. Way different show, way different excitement, way different Different ad- attitude, flavor, and energy. Yes, and maybe some looks, because eventually you're going to be able to see us on video. Yeah. Today. Business happy hour after hours. <laughs> that's I think that's what the studio. Grab your glow like. sticks. <laughs> oops, 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 oops. Oh man, <laughs> it's almost like we've known each other for fifty years, right? So if you guys are listening to the business Four happy hours for, and seven years ago, yes, that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's almost like uh, you know this, this this guy we've been doing it forever. So Jason J Mac McIntosh yes, is the new me. co-host of the business happy hour. We are in his office in a brand new studio today. What do you think, man? Check these is, walls out. It is crazy. They're, they're popping. If you guys can look into your radio dials right yeah. now, you will soon see to it. be on YouTube. That's right. And this we this are getting way. some footage today, though. We are getting some footage today. You better believe it. So I think that we could probably get them to check it out on our Facebook and Instagram. What do you think? You could. Can we give a plug to our CMI inspector? He was our guest on last week. Oh, I Old love that Clay guy. Schleitweiler. Schleitweiler. He did the walls. He did good job, Clay. Yeah, it, just it a little high life, life and you know yeah. high lie, high lie, Tampa high life. Well, it's high life. It, it is high life. I was gonna do your walls, but then I got high. And then again, then I got high. Yeah, it's a whole different song, <laughs> whole different genre. But yeah, these walls are amazing. These wall panels, they've, they've got uh, some. So we got some uh, ambient lighting. Yeah, right? ambient, not ambient, ambient. Uh, you guys are probably a lot of you waking up after some ambient. Maybe. That's right. But hey, get ready. We've Wake got a up. great show for you guys. If you didn't know, Jason is the premier Remax realtor for Tampa Bay, runs the Jacob, Jason McIntosh Group. Pretty bad ass over here uh, on 970 WFLA. Every week, we're going to bring Jason to you along with yours truly, the owner of Lincoln Lending Group. We're going to hit the real estate perspective. We're going to hit the mortgage perspective. And as always, we're going to have an amazing guest for you, a local business owner. We'd like to induce Mr. Introduce, not induce, my God. <laughs> We've already induced him. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's so quiet no, over there. He, he induced, induced us with dilated. all kinds of good food. With actually. his balls. Yeah, yes. Uh, these are Gouda smoked balls. Balls, to be exact. Okay. Uh, not to be mistaken. For the, I do love your balls. Yes, they are delicious. Jump in line, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jump in line, take a number. Well, there's two of them left in here, Jason. So. <laughs> you take the left one, I'll take the right one. All right, done. So. <laughs> I'll meet you in the middle. <laughs> so this is none other than Matt Smith. He's the owner of the Hangar Restaurant and yes, Bar in indeed. downtown St. Pete. I think it might be the only restaurant and bar that you can literally pull your aeroplane within 20 feet of the door. What do you think? You I think that, it is. Yeah. That's a much cooler move. I mean, if you got yeah. a yacht, man, but if you got a jet, <laughs> Come on. Yeah, if you've got the means, definitely. That's you know, right. Yeah. Man. But that's dead serious, right? They literally pull planes right up to the front. Yeah, we got the outside balcony and the planes park 20 feet away from your tables. It's pretty there cool. There you go. But you don't have to fly an airplane to eat there, right? No, you can come uh, walk, drive, take the jolly trolley, all that fun stuff. You can stuff. be a passenger is what he's saying. You can be. Good. Yeah. You know the best friend is the friend with a plane. That's right. That's right. That's right. Who needs a plane when you have friends with the planes? Same with boats. Why would you buy one of those? Or a spaceship. A spaceship. Elon. Elon will be on our show <laughs> next year. Uh, no, so anyway, uh, it's the Hangar Restaurant and Bar in downtown St. Pete. Uh, Matt's going to be Saint on the show. Pete. That's right. When we get to the uh, second segment, we're going to find a little bit of, about Matt and about him as a business owner, and we're going to find out he's, he has years and years in the restaurant industry, so we're going to find out how do you start at 15 and become a restaurant owner. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you stay tuned to find out Matt's That's story. That's good stuff. Can't wait to hear. That's, and Matt, we're going to put you on uh, the spot in the fourth segment. Segment. I didn't right. tell you this. We're going to ask you to do the business tip of the week. Just the tip. Nothing just, but the tip. That's it. That's all we want is just the tip. 
business tip of the week. And Matt yeah. just uh, spit, spit out the Gouda, the Gouda balls. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready. Um, hey, you know what, Matt? Be- before we get into this, you fed Jason and our producer Ryan and myself before yep. the show. Tell us what you brought in here today. So I brought the uh, the smoked Gouda stuff meatballs that we already mentioned. Yeah, yeah. And we have uh, our famous uh, fresh tarragon chicken salad. Oh, I had one of those. There, and then a new menu item, the burrata caprese salad. Nice, which that was good really stuff. good. And what is that green stuff that came? It's a uh, basil pesto. That's basil. Basil? Yeah. Basil. Basil pesto, yeah. That's Every, what Gordon Ramsay calls it, basil. House. That's yeah. southern pesto, basil so pesto. So I only have one critique or complaint, if you will. What's Uh-oh. up? What up with, and where's that? Where's the Mao High carrot cake <laughs> six layer yeah. into the clouds uh, that dessert? Is, uh, that's Jason's a I love that down. name. Yeah. The, the Mao High carrot cake. Course, Describe you know, it. Well, it's well. You know how to get to the Mile High Club, right? Yeah. So I don't know if that has anything to do with this dessert. But I think it's, it's the, the whole way. airplane thing. Matt is it required. Do you yeah. have to show your Mile High Club card? No, but that'll get you there. Though. Ah, there, you <laughs> go, there you go. There you go. Are yeah. you just happy to see me, or is that a carrot cake in your uh, no, in your just cockpit? <laughs> Just oh, the carrot. They are definitely going to edit us today. Nah, nah, dude, nah, we're talking to hangers and airplanes. That's true. That's true. Cockpits yeah. and uh, an carrots. But uh, yeah, it, the menu, he has the menu pulled up on his computer right <laughs> oh, now. He's not even reading the radio notes. He's literally no. reading the menu. I'm just <laughs> drooling over the key lime <laughs> panna cotta. A way to a man's heart is through his mouth <laughs> through his mouth that's right endoscope is that what they call that i don't know i don't know either oh god so let okay let's let's get serious just for a minute here yeah. um jay jay and i the, the reason we do this radio show is because we love real estate and we love radio and we thought why not bring a little real estate to the radio yes and give back to the community we like to support local yes. local guys and gals just like uh mr hanger that's right Mr. Hanger, if you got a hankering or a hunger for a hanger, this is the guy. Go down to St. Pete. That's it. The Hanger Restaurant in Get you some of that Mile High Carrot Cake. Hey, by the way, side note on that. uh, So so I got to know Matt through uh, Beverly Durkin, the vice president of my company, who's your aunt, correct? My favorite aunt, actually. Your favorite aunt. She's actually the one that runs the show over there. (laughs) (laughs) If you have spoken to Lincoln, you got to get through her to get to Frank. That's pretty much true. Yeah. That's a good point. Although Matt kind of circumvented. She's a good defense there, I bet. She is. Oh, she's a great defenseman. Oh, yeah. No, but she, she tells me that you guys can go, anybody can go, and you can literally watch the planes fly in right yeah. there from the balcony. Yep. That's it, so cool. It's open to the fly public. By. Yep, anybody can come in. Uh, there's no security checks or anything. So it's you a- are authorizing flybys on the daily. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Come on by. Maverick. Pat- pattern is full. Goose. Uh, you hear that? Yeah, just don't pull the eject on me there, Mav. Yeah. All right, just don't do that. Uh, all right, so Jay, I'm going to put you on the spot. All right? Mm. It, we're, we're like three weeks into the year now. Yeah. Uh, we're coming off a couple of the slower months. It got a little weird there with, with everybody getting scared. What has been going on in the last week in real estate? So, Frank, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> this there has planned. been a pent-up demand and I'm here to tell you the coast is clear. Okay. They're waving you in. They've got the little sticks there at the hangar. Fly by authorized? And they're, yes. Yes. Get out there and get the home you deserve. Life is short. The interest rates are dipping. They are really going and we are Our pencils are always sharp, and we're always wearing our closing shoes. So there's some good deals to get out there. Them sellers are limber. They want your deals. They it, want it, does, your, it, it seems to me like you've got less competition right now. Like you've got more people that are deciding to put the house up. But the, the, That's exactly what it is. You can right? pretty much name your terms. I right? mean, it's it's what it is, is a good, nice synergy between the buyers and the sellers because they expect a little uh-huh. and they're given a little. Right? Close, so closing cost credits? Correct. So there's a really good synergy happening right now. Right. In other words, I'm seeing, same as you, people are wanting to work with each other where a yes. one year ago today, what was it like? Well, you had to stand in line and take a number 40 deep. I mean, people right. were putting offers on it before they saw the house. Right. You had no chance. Even paying cash or waiving all the contingencies, it was a free-for-all. And, and you were doing what? Paying more? You were paying over price. Hundreds of thousands over. Right. Ridiculous. Throwing the book away. Yeah. And people are like, oh, the rates are low. I'll pay 100000 over to the house. Didn't matter but- what the house looked like. No. They're no. just getting caught up in the frenzy. Right. But the, here's, the, here's the greatest thing. You know, even even though the rates are a little higher than they were back then, which, by the way, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my neck out. They're back to normal, though, right? They are. Over you, the past 50 years, yeah. the average interest rate was what, about 7275? Exactly. So exactly. you can get a rate lower than 75 right now, correct? Oh, my gosh. You, we just locked 4.875 on a 30-year fixed government loan. Wait a second. So 4.875, yeah. if that seller were to give 2% credit of the purchase price, what happens? Uh, the interest rate goes down by 2%, no meaning 2.875. But the difference is now you can take 20, 30 grand off the house, maybe. 
That's the whole point. Mm, is that the prices better, of the house? Is it not. It is way better. Even, yeah. And look, and even if the rates weren't as good as they are, let's say they were in the sevens, yeah. you're not paying fifty thousand over right. for the house, which you can't get that back. Math works better because what you're going to do is this: marry, marry the, the house, house, date the, the rate. rate. Marry the, the house, date the rate. rate. Get That's divorced and do it over again. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, did you understand what we were saying about marrying the house, date the rate? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Right. So do you have a mortgage right now? I do have a mortgage. What, what kind of loan do you have? Uh, a conventional loan. I'm at like 3.75, I think. Uh, Good rate. But, date uh, your wife, yep. marry your girlfriend. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I got that reversed backwards. No, 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 I'm no, single. Right. I'm a single guy. Yeah, so. nice. You're single? <laughs> uh, nope. Married happily. Yeah, a bunch of kids. Well, you better uh, you better just uh, date the rate then. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did, yeah. That's how I got here. Absolutely. She put a finger on it. When did you buy? Ring how long it. ago? I bought in 2017. Okay, good time. Uh, and then it was a good time. Uh, refied in 2020, 2021. Why did you refi? One to get me out of the FHA, the mortgage insurance, you went all out that of the stuff, and yeah, um, to be able to get a cash out to get a bunch of money to buy my business. All right, so guys, right there, Matt just gave two reasons that actually really don't have as much to don't have anything to do with the interest rate. He got rid of PMI, mm -hmm. and he got cash out. Even if you're taking a slightly high, higher rate, that can be a benefit. Did you take a higher rate? I did take a higher rate. I'm, I didn't even, by the way, we did not set this up. I didn't, yeah. I didn't even know any about this. Yep, so, yep. yeah, so you took a higher rate because you got the cash. You probably consolidated debt, saved money, right? Uh, yep, I didn't have any debt to go into, but uh, my payment, I, I got all that cash uh, in my hand, yep. and my my payment went up like 80 bucks because I lost the mortgage insurance right. to make up yep. for the rate increase. Yep. Is, Jay, is mortgage insurance worth it to pay? Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> so in many um, cases, though, going back to that, so if you put down 20% conventionally, no right. mortgage insur insurance, what about like 10%, 15%? It's not as much, right? That's exactly right. So, so in some cases, 5% of 500,000 is 25 grand. So in that case, it may be okay. Are we getting cut short? Do all right, you know we're going to take a quick in break here on the cases, Business Happy Stay hour. tuned. We'll tell you more. We'll be back in just a minute. Yes, with more more this. yes come back. Hey, Tampa Bay, welcome back to the Business Happy Hour, your number one show for all things business and entrepreneurial. I am your host, Frank Cotto, owner of Lincoln Lending, Lincoln Lending Group. And you said the manure right, though, so the, that's uh, good. <laughs> so don't go to that. Go to A13Mortgage.com, your no-fee mortgage leader. By the way, if you're in the middle of a transaction, it's not too late to get another quote. We do not require an application to get you guys a free interest rate quote. All I need to know is the credit score from the other lender and send me the written estimate in studio with Jason. J. That's a Mac. no charge second opinion. Take them up on it. It really is. You know, your credit uh, model scoring for homes will allow you to do that. I, I, you get the you. one hard hit. You got 30 days to shop around. You get 100, but you only need a second one. This guy owns a real I estate team and he stuff. knows this. How do you know this stuff? Yes, I just yeah. oozing transactions. So, do you hear what he said, guys? If you've had your mortgage credit pulled by a mortgage company, you have 30 days minimum to Pulled shop. as many times as you want. That's right. And it will not affect your score. Yep. So do it. It's worth your time. It's worth your time. To, it's the biggest transaction in your life unless you buy Bugatti. You could save thousands. Thousands is no joke. Yes. So before the break, we were we were talking about, we were actually talking to Matt. Matt Smith is the owner of the Hangar Re Hangar Restaurant. Hang, hangover. Hangar, hangar. Hangover. You get a hangover. He's probably responsible yeah. for a few hangovers. You down, don't let pilots drink down there at the drink hangar. fly, do you? Yeah. I think it's the rules, eight foot bottle of throttles. What okay. Say? Eight foot. They made a movie Boy, about hours. that. I, I was going to say, wait, if you're eight feet from the bottle <laughs> to the thing, I was like, wow. This oh, is awesome. I like that. Eight hours bottle to throttle. That's, uh, that's good. Okay. Good to know that. All right, never fly with anybody at the hangar. So anyway, uh, so anyway, we were asking Matt, you know, you just, he had a, a, a great loan. He refinanced and took a higher rate, got rid of PMI, got some cash out. His payment only went up 80 bucks. Jay and I's favorite phrase is... Marry the house, date the rate. Marry the house, date the rate. And then get divorced and do it over. Exactly. No. <laughs> now, even though rates are back down, I love what Jay was saying about this is the best time to buy. Sellers are working with you. Yes, they are. They're giving you concessions. You're buying the house at the right price. They are consensual. They are consensually <laughs> giving you the right price. Oh, and look, yeah. your rates, your rates right now are, are in the fives at worst. So it's time to get your butt off the off the fence and buy right now. And you can always refi. And there's no money out of pocket when you do. Jay, any other major real estate news before we find out a little bit more about Matt? Smith? You know the inventory is up, so yeah. now you can just you can take time and find the right house. There's lots of inventory out there. In inventory means yep. for the the layman's is there's lots of houses. Yes, out there. yes. more choices, mm -hmm. right? And when you have more choices, we should probably plug one coming up to the market over in New Let's Tampa do it. area. Let's do it. It is a four bedroom, two bath, brand new roof, brand new AC over in Heritage Isles. Oh. That address is. Uh, Lucaya Drive, 
10634 Lukaya Drive. Probably be live tomorrow. All right. And and, and it, how much is it going to go for? Can you say Ooh, that? Are you allowed to? It's it's going to be a bargain. It's going to be a bargain? Yes. Anything the J-Mac team sells is a bargain, yes. by the way. And that's one of yes. y'all's listings? Well, that's actually producer Ryan's uh, personal home. Oh, I like it. So wait, do the they get to meet Ryan in person if they oh, come see autograph, the house? Autograph. Autograph. Autographs. Autographs are there. They might uh, be on the selfies. show, maybe. You never know. I, you know what? I, let's Depends on what the that. offer is. <laughs> <laughs> the buyer of Brian's house will get an appearance on the business happy hour. Ryan. For, did you say Ryan or Brian? Did I say Brian? That's Ryan. 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 Brian. <laughs> Producer Ryan. I tell you what, the buyer of Brian and Ryan's house will get an appearance on the business happy hour. If you're a business owner or not, you just want a moonlight on radio, we'll put you on there. We'll give you a congratulations. Yeah. Uh, Backs up to conservation. Yeah, maybe we'll Four do. bedroom, Ooh. two bath. Freshly painted interior, nice. right? New floors. What do you got to do? I mean, what do they got to do? That's it. They just need to call me and Frank. We, he's that's got it. the money. I got the money. I've Frank got the, the contract. That's right. He's got the contract right there on the desk right Yo, now. Yo, you got a problem. We solve it. Uh, check it. out the house uh, while Ryan revolves it. That's it. Yes. All right. Nice. We've never missed one of those, by the way. Actually, no. One time he got me on some rock song and I'm like, dude, I have no idea. Like, seriously, no idea. <laughs> All right. Uh, our listeners are nice and teed up, Matt. They're, so, they're ready. They're ready. Yeah, if they were sleeping when they started listening, they're, they're not, not sleeping. Now. Yeah. <laughs> they're not. Uh, let me check with Ryan first. How much time do we have, Ryan? Okay, we got three minutes, so we won't get we won't get too crazy. Matt Smith, owner of Hangar Restaurant and Bar downtown St. Pete, fly in, fly out. You have to stay there eight hours drinking before you can get back in the plane. <laughs> uh, I think that's the way I heard it, at least. Exactly. Um, uh, Matt, you've been in restaurants now for what twenty years? Yeah, uh, about 22 years since you know, it was my high school my high school job is kind of where it started, and it just fell right in. It was all natural to me. What would you do uh, in high school? Uh, I was a bus, you know, I bus tables like any other. That's where they all started. Kid. That's yeah. where it all started, and I uh, went to a cook from there and just kind of kept moving along, moving along. So you uh, were back at the house? Back at the house most of my career, yep. Okay. Uh, came, became a pretty good chef for a while. I uh, still get a chance to do that when I get away from the boring business owner stuff, you know. Um <laughs> We'll actually be at the Tampa Bay Food Fight at the Hard Rock this Tuesday. Ooh, nice. I'm competing on Team St. Pete, uh, six chefs from St. Pete for six chefs from Tampa. Did you do it last year by chance? I did no? not do it last okay. year. I did it last year. I mean, I didn't compete. You I, were I over ate there? the food. Yeah, I did the competition. Oh, you were I there? Judged. The there eating competition. You were yeah. a judge, were you? Yes. 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 They, were, they had some exciting stuff going on uh, last year from La- what I heard. Oh, last yeah. year was very exciting. Was that yeah. the meatball yeah. eating contest? Uh, no. <laughs> Your mouth made me say something terrible. But no, no, that was not. The meatball. It was the. Yeah, yeah never mind. But, uh, there was very interesting things happening there last year. Yes. It is a great event. Um, very cool. Can people buy tickets to that? It is completely sold out. Oh, no. So we mm. do normally sell tickets, but yeah, they've had a huge turnout. It got postponed because of the hurricanes that came through in October. Uh huh. Um, so yeah, we're catching up. They're expecting about 400 people. It's going to be a blast. If, Who's if the cele- They usually have a celebrity. Do you know who it's going to be this year? Like an the announcer? Judges. Uh, judges, somebody like that. Uh, it's just the St. Pete Chefs or celebrities, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Okay. I think, yeah. uh, I think who was like That's L- right. LT or the something. The real stars. The chefs. Guy. A lot of, a lot of uh, football players and whatnot go to that. It, it is right. a great event. Awesome thing. So check that out. Matt, tell us. Uh, actually, Ryan, we doing okay on time? We got to be getting close here. Okay. So uh, when we get back from the from the break, Matt, we kind of want to find out, you know, where are you from? You started as a bus boy. You got it. You're in back of the house. Very interesting. And then and then we got to figure out what, what, like, how did you transition into owning a restaurant? What did you do to do that? And what well? haven't you done? Yeah, exactly. He's done it all, basically. All it, yeah. And I want to know when we get swept back. some floors, too, probably. You had oh, to. I'm sure you swept uh, some floors. Still right not to this day. Here, yeah. right, right before you got here. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. You had to sweep our floors just to get in here. <laughs> but now we're, we're going to ask you all these questions, find out how to some of these. There's a lot of guys out there might be a bus boy right now might be a cook might be a chef we're going to find yeah. out how do they do it uh, and i'm also going to ask you if you uh invented any of the recipes at the hangar or not. so hold that answer for the business happy hour with j mac yeah. jason macintosh j how Come do they call you quick back. what's the number quick seven two seven seven two seven nine hundred j mac 900, j mac 900 j mac 813 mortgage we'll be back in just a minute with matt smith owner of hangar restaurant yeah Hey, Tampa Bay, welcome yeah. back to the Business Happy Hour 2.0. Yes, new and improved. That's right, way Refresh. new and improved. Much, Remix. Much quieter, much yeah. more relaxed. We're not energetic Low at key. all. 
very low key, but if you can take the energy, you are going to benefit because we are going to teach you a lot about real estate. Yep. We're going to teach you the best time to buy real estate. Yep. We're going to teach you the best people to talk to. Yep. We're going to give you the best programs. Yep. And we just look better than everybody. Yes. There we go. All of the above. (laughs) All of the above. There you go. And at the same time, we're going to bring you some amazing guests, some amazing business owners, local business owners that we want to help and support. Uh, Today's no different. We have Matt Smith, the owner of the Hangar Restaurant and Bar in downtown St. Pete, where you can literally fly your plane within 20 feet of the door, have lunch, or you can drive or walk there and watch the dudes fly their planes. Do you have a helipad? Ooh. Yep, there's several helicopters Ooh, that come and go. Right Holy there. cow! We can fly our Blackhawk in. Wow. Blackhawks, yes. Ospreys, we get all that mm, cool military stuff, You really stuff do, too, too yeah. don't you? Yeah, do absolutely. jets come into that one, too? Or is there's a big? couple styles of jets that can land in and out of there. Nice. Absolutely. Man, you know, is that the same one that I see the when they the guys take off with the banners for the beach and stuff like that? Do they do that from there? That comes right out of there, and that's a, that's a wild thing to see, especially when it's your first time, because you know they pick up that banner while they're in flight. So yeah. if, you, if you don't know what's going on, it looks like it's nose diving. It right looks like it's going to. Cra- have you seen that, Jay? Yeah, it, that's no, wild. I haven't. The planes you got to go to the hangar to watch. That. Is it only certain days they do it? Or is it every day? You just don't. Depends you know, on who's who's paying for who's the paying advertising. For the right? we, hey, we need to do a banner. Let's do a banner, men. We're going to do a banner on the beach this summer. So literally, this plane comes flying in out of nowhere. It looks like it is nose diving. It is going to literally crush the concrete. Beach bodies of Tampa Bay. <laughs> Here in the business. That is what we'll do. It pulls up at the last second, and it must have someone or a hook or something on it, yep. and it grabs the banner off the ground, and then it flies straight up in the air, and you don't think it's going to make wow. it. Yeah, yeah, it struggles to it get up. It struggles. There sure. It's like yeah. put, 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 put. You know, I'm like wow. So, and and here's the best part. It doesn't always get it on the first try. No, it no. usually takes a few tries before the dude gets the banner. So mm. it's pretty awesome to check that if you've never done it. Matt Smith, owner of the hangar. You've been doing this 22 years. That's you're right. a bus boy. Then you're back of the house. You're a cook. Then you something happened before you became business owner. What happened? Yeah, I uh, spent a lot of time in the kitchen. That was where you know all the passion was. You know, it yeah. was all like artistry. You know, and and just making people happen and, and making these badass dishes and just having fun with it. Let's stop. Um, oh. Who is your favorite celebrity chef? Uh, David Chang. Oh, he's a good one. Mm-hmm. David Chang. Yeah, yeah. He's got uh, the New York joints, don't he? That's good right. answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's absolutely. Good. He's a good one. What about sure. Gordon Ramsay? Big fan. Uh, no? Yeah, yeah. He's entertaining. Yeah. You know, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Blank <laughs> this, blank that. Your stupid That's blanking it. dish. Yeah. Exactly. I'd like to. I'd like to see the real him. You know. Yeah. Outside. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Hell's Kitchen. Bobby Flay. Vibe. Bobby Flay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, as a kid, I went to hit one of his New York restaurants. Yeah. yeah. Before I became a chef, that was inspirational. Yeah. Well, so, what sure. inspired you to become a chef? Um, how good I was at it. Okay. Oh, there you go. Uh, good yeah, answer. I, I uh, just started doing it, and it and it came like I said, real natural. The high pace, working on you know, working on the line when orders are coming in, and I was yeah. just killing it from day one, you know. And then uh, once I started learning how to you know manipulate flavors and make sauces and create dishes and all this kind yep. of stuff, it was just a it was a really cool experience to go through. So then, how did you get in with the hangar? Well, the hangar. So. Um, the guy, Steve Westfall, that used to own the hangar, I worked at another restaurant of his. I worked for him for about 15 years under uh, Chef Tyson Grant, which I learned a ton from him. Um, you know, I, I left St. Pete for a little while, tried a restaurant in Brandon, came back, and uh, he needed you know somebody at the hangar to kind of bring it up to par, you know, what it should be. So, so uh, and came me, and, and I was doing the chef thing there, uh, wrote all the recipes, rewrote the menu. Oh, so that answers my question. Absolutely. You actually wrote the recipes. 100 percent yeah off of my brain just wrote them down and made them happen um and we really turned that place around as it was doing well and then i got kind of forced into a general management role which you know i was kind of like bummer you know this isn't fun you know but uh here we are if i wouldn't have done that and learned that experience i would never be able to run the business you know what i mean i'm not just making sauces and crab cakes you know i gotta make sure everybody's getting paid and the bills are getting paid and people are coming in the door and Man. And all you know, all that stuff that keeps the keeps the gears going. So you had to teach somebody else to make the sauces and crab cakes. Yeah, and you you know, but it's, now you're running the business. Running the business, uh, I still like to get back there and cook uh, as often as I can. It's like a, it's like a hobby. It's like a pickup game of basketball for me. You know, if the omelet like, guy doesn't show up, I'm like, I'll do it. You know? Yeah. Like, well, then again, that's know? how most business and owners and team leaders are. Is, yeah. is the reason that we're in that position is because we have that attitude yeah. of, all right, I'll do it. 
You know, yeah. it falls on me. How many times does that fall on you, Jay? A lot. Right? Yes. I mean, yeah. it's... It, I just can't get over this menu. I, it, <laughs> He's let me still just read. reading the Roasted menu. Roasted pulled pork, house-made blueberry barbecue sauce, smoked Gouda macaroni and cheese. That's I, awesome. Yeah, I that's mean, killer. I'm getting a little excited right here. This tarragon chicken salad Ooh. wrap, that's the one you brought, isn't it? That's right. So, yeah. it, you know, I didn't, I have not eat. I never eat chicken salad my whole life until yeah. three years ago. Yeah. Right? They opened the chicken salad chicken. Yeah. Now I'm like a we freaking connoisseur. Yeah. Yeah, we have eaten there we before. Did, yeah. yeah, and it's good. So it like, is. hey kids, good. chicken salad's good. And this one is really good. You feel good. It's What's healthy. in that one, Jay? What's in that chicken salad? So the chicken salad has some tarragon. It's not only tarragon, it's fresh tarragon. Onion and golden raisins. Not them dark, ugly raisins. They're golden. So <laughs> Granny Smith apples. And I tasted almonds. the almonds. It was nice. It was nice, nice combination. Yeah. And then they sliced it. It was almost like a sushi roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It got so it was. Like and Jay's like, well, uh, uh, no fish, no fish, no <laughs> fish for me. <laughs> no fish. But they got the bacon wrapped meatloaf. Ooh, yeah. With the smashed potatoes. You really can't mess up meatloaf mm -hmm. and throw bacon on it. So you really yeah, created all, all really, these recipes, all that stuff. Yeah, from scratch. We about ninety five percent of all that stuff is from scratch in house. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Mostly fresh ingredients y'all are using out there. Absolutely. That Absolutely. is great. Man, so tell us uh, from a business owner perspective, maybe maybe what what is something tough that you've had to go through owning a restaurant? How about like COVID? Were you dealing with it back then? Yeah, we dealt with COVID. Um, you know, uh, you know, before the the we had to shut down the restaurants and everything. I just I really wanted to keep it going because you know it's the people, the people, the staff at the restaurant right, that makes exactly. the restaurant what it is. And I'm right. like, what are we gonna do? We've got 50 employees. You know, what do you mean? How can we close? You know, um, but we did, and and we tried to do the best of it. Um, and while we were closed down during COVID, uh, I stayed on. My assistant manager Michelle stayed on, and we actually produced just the two of us uh, with a couple hands here and there to help out uh, 10,000 meals for the needy. Oh, that's amazing. And St. Pete. I love that. Yeah, yeah we yes. did that. Uh, no cost to them. And there was a, a food truck convoy that just took our meals every single day out into the community and, and got them to the But you know what? That, that good karma wow. that you put out into the universe yeah. has come back. Yep. I love it because you're a success story. Many people yeah. didn't make it after that. That's right. But, you know, we during that now. hard times, yeah. you were giving back. I love it. Did you guys uh, do any takeout stuff when during that or anything? Uh, or? We did not. We were close to the public. We just focused on that. We were doing 500 meals a day. Man, Man. good for you. 500 good for you. meals a day. Yeah, just, just, for, a the, lot of just for the needy there. Um, and, and again, you know, a lot of people didn't make it through. And that, you know, as a business owner now, that's where I learned a valuable lesson. You know, a lot of the places I see that didn't make it through, they weren't, you know, keeping the right books and kind of doing weird stuff. Because when yeah. the government come in to help, they couldn't get, you know, take advantage of that stuff because everything they were, you know, cheating. They were messing with it. They were messing with it. So, and mm. and, that, and that was kind of the final nail for them. And I, I saw a lot. How of about that. your uh, your staff? And you had fifty guys. How many came back? Um, I've, like I've always done pretty well with staff retention. I've, I've got a ton of people that, that came back after, after COVID. I've got several people that have got five years with us. I've, there's one person has been there longer than me, 10 years. Wow. Um, and then most of the other ones that have started right after COVID, they stick with us. Um, I think they like to see it, especially now that I'm the owner. You know, I went from just the manager, but I'm always there, like right. you said, doing the jobs, whatever, busting the tables, wherever I can help, I try to help. And that, so, that helps everyone else keep going, and they, they feel appreciated. You know, if I'm going to help them out, they're having a slow day, tired, or whatever. Jason, it doesn't go a long way. Like, I, you're in your office yeah. every day. I, unlike a lot of uh, team uh, team leaders and owners, he's one of the few that's actually there every single day. They see day. you grinding it out. It's an inspiration. Yep, absolutely. That's, it, you that's know? what I was about to say. Mm -hmm. it, it's a, there's a way different about being a like if you're a not, not too present. good to do it then no one is exactly yeah. yep exactly and they see like they'll see you writing contracts they'll see you talking absolutely. to clients absolutely. picking it up and if they see you back in the kitchen you know they see you busting a table it just yeah. inspires people it's yeah. all about the culture and it sounds to me like you've built a pretty good culture over there absolutely yeah we, we get it done even you know over this weekend we had a we had a record weekend and we were just getting slaughtered all day on saturday um we actually ran out of our ranch dressing that oh. we, we make fresh in house and uh, mm. I, I get the word i'm like we're out of ranch dressing i'm like you need one give me a second i run back there and i'm making fresh ranch and the server had fun with it they can go to the table it's like the owner's making you He's You're two ounces you. of ranch right right now. Look Fresh. at this. It's the red eye, Bloody Mary. I love these names. Yeah. Seaplane Rum Runner. The uh here we go. The uh, they run new rum. old fashioned. Yeah, the Fly Tropics Mojita Wait, well, what's, Express what's in Flight a new, Martini. What's in a new old fashioned? Aeronautical Gimlet. What's a what? Uh, what's in a new old fashioned? So it has uh I can't say the type of rum, but it has it. Reserva. Yeah. Uh, Diplomatico, orange, it's a, that's yeah. it. That's Diplomatico it. Diplomatico rum instead of your bourbon. Okay. Uh nice age rum. Simple nice. orange bitters. Okay. I've never had an old-fashioned with rum in it. Let's you do it. love it. Sounds good. Yeah. The Hanger Martini. 
Ooh. Ooh. What's in a hanger martini? It says chilled hanger one vodka. Oh, oh that makes Is sense. Is that your own vodka? It's not, but it's a brand, yeah. There you go. Dry vermouth. Not that wet vermouth. Dry. I, I, nobody likes wet vermouth. Mm-mm. Blue cheese olives. I like those blue cheese it's olives. Like olives dirty, it's like a dirty yeah. martini. Can you guys stuff those olives yourself? Sure do. Oh, oh, my oh man. I went through oh, like, like a little habit. You know, you got to run through different things. All of a sudden, I got into blue cheese olives. All of a sudden, I got to pee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I broke the seal right if, here. The if show. you know Jason and I, you know, for us to make it through an entire show yeah, without going to the bathroom is a small feat. bladders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, all right, let's go before, let's go after. Uh, yes. Right. That has nothing to do with our age, I swear. Nope. Uh, how are we doing on time, Ryan? We doing okay over there? Ryan's like, yes, three, you two, have. One. Yeah, I hope that does that mean 30 seconds or three minutes? Oh, 30 seconds. All right. So when we get back from the business happy hour here on our last segment, because it goes so fast and fun, we're going to ask uh, Matt Smith, the owner of the hangar, to give us the business tip of the week. You don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Me neither. I can't wait. I thought he knew what it was. Yeah, but nobody figure, knows what I'll it is. I'll figure it out. I'll get in your head. That's <laughs> Stay stay tuned. Find Jason 727-900-JMAC, and you can find me at 813-MORTGAGE. You drop the E. We'll drop, drop the, the e. fee. We'll be back in just a minute. And your mortgage is free. Yes. He, <laughs> no. He lied. <laughs> hey, Tampa Bay, welcome back to the Business Happy Hour, your number one show for all things business and entrepreneurial. In studio with my incredible co host, Jason J. Yeah. McIntosh. He's so quiet, mm-hmm. he's loud. You can find Jason and his entire team at the only 900 number that will not get you in trouble with your wife. It is 727 900 J Max. Don't 17. forget about the Studio 4890 West Shore Boulevard. Ooh. What's Sure. We're sure. We're sure. I mean, Kennedy Boulevard. I'm stuffing you. <laughs> it is it's Kennedy. in the Urban Center Suite 100. Just go valet. That's it. And, and that's what that's there. what you did, right, Matt? Just valet right. and told yeah, him I'm going to super Remax. Easy. Yes. Super easy. And, and literally, it's 10 feet from the door when yes. you valet. You just go the hop, in, skip, and a jump. Literally. Yeah, probably just the hop and skip. Yeah, that's I don't it. even think you, you have to jump. Jump on in the chair. <laughs> right on the show. Take a right into the glass doors. You will see the most American, most patriotic office yes. you've ever seen in your entire life right on the right. It is a red, white, and blue explosion. I saw Matt's face when he walked in. He's like, whoa. <laughs> oh, I love it. Love he actually stopped and saluted. Yeah. He, I think he pretty yeah. sure he That's like, what we're looking for. That's that, that's that the is, look. That is. And by the way, anybody driving on Kennedy right now, if you guys Go are ahead, driving, wave, 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 wave at us. Uh, every Thursday, we're going to be recording in here, most likely between about three thirty and five. Uh, if you drive by right here, give us Kennedy, a honk. Literally honk at us. Flash, uh, yeah, honk, it, whatever. It's glass windows. If you want to come up here, you can definitely flash us right here. Yeah. We we won't say anything we'll at least flash the first back. time. <laughs> Depending on the quality of the flash. So. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we've had a great time on the show here with Matt Smith. I hope you guys have heard some of our awesome real estate advice, which basically is buy now. Buy now. Right? Best time you can buy. Uh, You definitely can get a hold of Jason, 727-900-JMAC. You can go to 813-MORTGAGE or call 813-MORTGAGE. Drop that last E. We'll drop your fee. You can also check out Frank the Bank on, uh, on social media. And Jason, what do they check out for the Macintosh team on social media? Oh man, it's well. I would so probably defer to my strategic media director, producer Ryan. Ryan, what do you think? What's the best thing? Come for on, them on to here find and give us a plug because I, he's in charge of all of our. He has a terrible radio uh, voice. Socials. We yeah. definitely want you to check us out on TikTok, where we don't stop at Macintosh Group Real Estate, and also the same on Instagram, Macintosh Group Real Estate. Don't just come by and be a ghost. Go ahead and hit that like and follow. We have lots of great content. YouTube channel is going to be up with the Business Happy Hour and the Real Mac Moves. Sharing is caring. He's also my co-host on The Real Mac Moves. Yes, which is an amazing podcast where you can find on every single podcast platform, The Real Mac Moves. In America wanna, and the globe. And or globally the recognized. He's only in the Milky Way, though. No other galaxy. Yeah. So, <laughs> and I do have a podcast as well. It's a little bit more on the political side, but if you want to talk the positive side of, of politics, it is The Positive Patriots can also be found yes. on all those fun little podcasts. And when you, you can convert on that show, too, right, if you need to? You should. <laughs> <laughs> we Ooh, are we I've are doing a, 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 a political conversion therapy. Uh, yes, <laughs> it's uh, like one of those camps, right? Yes, yes, and we are. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and we are doing it the right way, if you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, yeah. well, thank you for listening. And we just lost three viewers. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's okay. That's Bye. okay. The other 100,000 of you are there. Thank you yeah. for listening. Matt, the owner of Hangar Restaurant and Bar in downtown St. Pete. Uh, why don't you go ahead with the business tip of the day for yeah, the listeners? Yeah, can't wait. I'm going to say- Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. First, let's talk about some events 
Yeah. You have some Tell cool us about stuff this, going. Uh, some, jazz uh, hour. Great jazz. events. We have the Monday Night Jazz Jam. It's been going strong 11 years. It's with the Al Downing Tampa Bay Jazz Association. All right. Uh, it's an open jazz uh, jam from 7 to 9 every Monday. Uh, super cool so many different kinds of people come in and they swap out instruments and, and positions all throughout wow. the, uh, all throughout I know what kind the, of instrument uh, Frank plays, but I can't <laughs> say it on the radio. Maybe no, on the podcast, I'll tell you. Not her. the flute. Um, <laughs> my skin itches right now. Lord almighty. Sounds like a flute. <laughs> well, there you go. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's a great time. Music from seven to nine. Uh, get there by six, six thirty If you want to get a table, cause it is popular. And, Pop uh, it. Love so it. this is the business happy hour. So if a business wanted a happy hour, could they rent out a room? Absolutely. We've got a private room. We've got a private bar, room. bar and patio area that we host all Love kinds it. of networking events. And, and you cater too. And we cater business meetings, breakfast, lunch, wow. dinner. We do it all. You heard it right here. Beautiful. How could somebody reach you? Yeah. They can reach us at uh, 727-823-PROP or 823-776. Like the propeller. Like the propeller. <laughs> I got to give you props. Give it a spin. <laughs> I was thinking movie props. I don't Woo! know. Yeah, give it a spin. It's all good. Yes, um, or or they, they can reach us online. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. Uh, all, all that. So stuff. is your tip of the day? You haven't given it. Yeah, yet. the business tip. Clean of the day. bathrooms, right? Tip yeah. of the day uh, is one. So you aim to please. My favorite one <laughs> is. Aim to please. Uh, I love it. Too aim to please is uh, you don't have to be perfect, but just be present. Oh, I love that one. You just got to show up. You know, even on the days you don't want to show up, you got to gl- show glow up. up so as, as my producer the over day. there likes to say. What does he say? Glow up. You got to glow up. Got to glow up. Got to show up to glow up. That's, That's right. That's a great tip, actually. I, you know, in 10 years on the radio, I don't think anybody's just made it that simple. That's it's, very impactful. Yeah. Just yeah. be there. Ha- half of half of it is being gotta there, be right? There. Gotta show. Just like, you know, we joke with, uh, with our team and everything. You know how hard it is to answer the phone? Not hard. Right. But if you simply just answer the phone, yeah. you'll be amazed what happens. If you show up, you will be successful. Yeah. Yep. I like it. So you don't have part. to be perfect. Don't throw don't. up, just show up. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Well, so that, how about yeah. happy hour real quick before we go? When do you guys run happy hours? Happy hour is uh, Monday through Fridays, three to six, four dollars across the board. Well, Man, what a deal. Yeah. Oh, wine, everything. Drafts. Uh, yeah. Drafts, house wine, liquor. You got some decent wine over there by chance? I'm curious. Yeah, great wine. Yeah, all kinds of all kinds of stuff from right. uh, around the globe. After the, the second country. bottle, it really doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> yeah. I know, well, my, you know, if you got a wife like mine, like when she picks a restaurant, I'm like, ooh, yeah. can't go there. Wine's not good. Oh. I'm like, well, well, why don't you drink one on the way? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they have great bourbon and awesome beer. That's right. <laughs> All of it. Yep. And Full I'm liquor, speaking everything. directly to Florida Cracker Brewing. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I say Florida Cracker Restaurant. Get some better wine. <laughs> so anyway, Matt Smith, thank you so much for coming on the show today. It's been a blast, man. Yeah. It's, it's been absolutely awesome. The owner of Hangar Restaurant and Bar, downtown St. Pete. You don't have to have a plane to get there. Mm-mm. But Open if to you the public, do. Free What's your favorite meal? Yeah. My favorite meal is the new uh, blue cheese crusted ribeye. I oh, oh. oh what I've never heard of such a thing. What kind of witchcraft is that? I'm in. <laughs> witchcraft. Oh my god, that does sound really. Tell good. me more. Well, well it's, it's how do you like your uh, ribeye? Uh, uh, ribeye? Rare? I'm gonna go medium on a ribeye. Okay, medium I'm ribeye. in. That's medium. what I want. Medium when we go on like a fillet. Yeah, because a little fat, it's a little fatty. And melt oh it down. God, yeah. I love and it. Blue and you know what? Those asparagus have some girth. I saw them. Those are some girthy they asparagus. They are jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, jumbo. On that note, Matt, thank you for coming on the Business Happy Hour. It's been yes. absolutely awesome, guys. Check out the Hangar Restaurant and Bar in downtown St. Pete, and talk to Jason J. Mac McIntosh or Mark, yes. yours truly. When you're ready to buy that house of your dreams, we will see you next week. See Thank you. We out.